Pecha Kucha 319, it's not working. So in this week, I didn't really do anything with any book. Maybe because it's coming into winter. Maybe because I'm reading some of the most depressing comic books I have. Uh, maybe because there was a couple of games I wanted to play. Uh, but it all kind of came together in a week where I didn't really get a lot done. Uh, and, you know, I, my Garth Ennis, Ennis Max Comics Punisher run is really a very interesting way of thinking about the Punisher. Having read it all in such a... I mean, all, all the stuff I have, having read it all in such a small period of time, the shameless bleakness of what the Punisher does, going around killing criminals, not really making a difference, but, you know, he's kind of just like... I don't know, a disease that just kills things. It doesn't... People just kind of get around it. You know, you kill a criminal, there's a power vacuum, and then it doesn't really reduce crime. And then just the, the bleakness of the way that Garth Ennis populates the books with some of the most truly evil people um, imaginable. Like, Nicky Cavella in this book is a guy who literally digs up the Punisher's family so he can piss on their grave, so he can lure the Punisher into a trap, so he can kill him, so he can take over the mob. Um, and the backstory of this guy who looks like he could just be any guy, I always think of him as like an Andy Garcia type mob character. Uh, he's just got this really disturbing background story where he killed most of his family when he was a kid because his fat aunt told him to do it so she could take over the mob. Um, and so the Punisher goes on a, a even bigger rampage than usual to the point where, you know, he le he's killing all these people, leaves one person alive, so they will tell the police on his behalf to go reinter his dead family. Um... So you've got the, the cops who don't want any of this. Um, you've got the criminals who are naturally going to end up dead. The only redeeming thing about any of this run, Punisher gets laid. Uh, but the, the woman he, he ends up in bed with is, is so damaged that it's in the middle of um, a bunch of... Well, in between a bunch of serious things where people die. And... Um, It'd make a hell of a movie, but my god, you'd need to watch something Disney afterwards, I think. Uh, and then the second, maybe even more damning book, is uh, The Slavers, where Punisher basically has chooses to shut down a, a people trafficking operation that kind of, you know, one of the, the women victims just kind of ends up in his way and he he can't really turn his back on this because these are the type of people who really need to be murdered it's a bunch of eastern europeans who've moved to new york who uh ruthlessly run um the sex slavery operation as a business except that the the father of the man who runs it um he's just a cold-hearted bastard <laughs> from like bulgaria or wherever and he he's, he he used to be a mercenary, and he just likes fucking murdering people because he thinks it's fun. Uh, there's also a, a subplot where the police, um, who are kind of there's some dirty dudes in the police who try to frame the Punisher for beating up cops to turn public opinion against him because the Punisher famously always avoids civilian casualties or uh, attacking the police. Um, but maybe the most awful thing about the book is uh, there's a social worker who's trying to she gives a lecture about possibly citing real world st statistics about people trafficking and it's it's, it's brutal <laughs> it's, it's legitimately brutal because it's like well that might not be a work of fiction and maybe uh, if you want to call it a redeeming feature about this book the fact that the Punisher for once opens fire on a bunch of people who were actually trained soldiers and it immediately goes wrong for him that's at least clever, intelligent, entertaining storytelling. Of course, plot armor keeps him from dying, but, you know, he can't have everything. Um, I also played The Last Guardian, a game I'd owned for six years but didn't want to play because it was exactly what I thought it would be and it's not really for me. It's not bad, it's just it's Shadow of Colossus without the Colossuses to, to fight. It's And I knew it would be that. It's the story of a boy and his dog and shrug. Uh, what I was very impressed by was, uh, I think, the third or fourth Alfred Hitchcock movie I've seen, Shadow of a Doubt, in which uh, a niece discovers her uncle is a serial killer. And it's, you know, it's from the 30s or the 40s. It's just cut from a different cloth, and I find that very refreshing. Um, 
interesting stuff. Uh, Sherlock episode four, completely throwing away the idea that this is a program that has a, a, a detective police procedural format to it. This is the introduction of uh, Irene Adler. It feels like the episode ends a quarter of the way in and then it keeps going. A very bizarre but very en entertaining and interesting thing. I'll keep watching Sherlock until it does something that loses my interest completely, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, so I airbrushed a bison with the last Guardian monster in it and couldn't really be bothered to put any more work into it than I did to playing the game. I might come back to this, we'll see. And um, for the rest of the the week I just did a couple of thumbnail sketches of the Punisher without reference because it was more palatable for me than sitting down and actually working on my um, villain book um, I think as time's gone on art's become this thing I needed to turn into a job and as such it's become this thing that doesn't hold my interest because it's never engaging or fun it's always a chore uh, I think next week I've got to try and figure some way to change the way I think about that. I don't know what that means, but I've got the rest of the day to, to, to think it up, think about what I'm going to do in between the ad breaks of all the Columbo I've got to watch. Um, a broad litany of thoughts cross my mind, as extreme as quitting doing the Pecha Kucha series, um, and then on, on the other end completely reinventing the youtube channel to just be like every every day I, I draw i record it i create a tutorial series to teach myself and to remind myself of all the things i do know so that you know next year is the year where it all actually starts to turn into something but i'm going to be the guy that's got to do all that so uh i'm just going to have to you know wing it we'll see what happens but that's the end of picture future 319 and I'll probably see you next time.